the head of the white donut, working to match green. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your middle finger. And pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch, and then work six in crochets. Finally. Join this round with a snip stitch. Let's start. Insert hook into the ring on middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Yarn and hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Then work six in crochets. Insert hook into the match ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then yarn and hook, and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a V shape on the side stands for one stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch. One single crochet is done. Continue to work five more single crochets in the same way. Insert hook into the match ring. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Yarn and hook pull through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. Keep working. Okay, six and crochets are done. Then we are going to close the magic ring. Remove the crochet hook. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Okay. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. I will show you how to work one slip stitch. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into this marked stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop through the stitch. Then put the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch. Then work set of one single crochet, one increase for three times. Finally. End with one snip stitch. Let's start. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn and hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Next, work one single crochet. Insert hook into the first stitch, where we just worked the snip stitch of the previous round. Okay, hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then yarn and hook. 
and pull through both loops on the hook. That's one single crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Then work one increase in the next stitch. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. First, work one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Okay, one single crochet and one increase are finished. One set is done. Continue to work two more sets. We work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Let's start. In the next stitch, work one single crochet. Then work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The second set is done. Continue to work the last set. One single crochet. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. There are two stitches left. One is a snip stitch of previous round, and the other one is a chain stitch of this round. They are not counted into the number of stitches. Work one snip stitch in the marked stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Okay, hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the ranging loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. Round 2 is done. In round 3, start with one chain stitch. Then work it off one single crochet while increase one single crochet for 3 times. Finally, end with one snip stitch. We need to change to white yarn. In order to show the stitches clearly, we'll demonstrate with darker white yarn. You should use the corresponding yarn in the kit, according to the instruction. Wrap the white yarn around your hand, and place it at the back of the fabric. Then pinch them together. If the yarn change is in the halfway of a round, we'll need to prepare to change the yarn one stitch ahead. Let's do a demonstration. If we are going to change yarn and the second stitch, we need to prepare and the first stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then we need to change yarn before the final step of this stitch is finished. Let the orange yarn go 
and wrap the purple yarn around your fingers. Pinch the yarn tail with thumb and middle finger. Then place the purple yarn behind the fabric and pinch them together. Purple yarn on the hook and pull it through two orange loops on the hook. Yarn change is done. Then continue to crochet with purple yarn. Work one chain stitch first. Wet yarn on the hook, pull it through the loop on the hook. Break the red yarn. Work one single crochet in the first stitch. Put the yarn tails above the hook so that we can hide them during crocheting. Once single crochet is done, mark this stitch. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, next one single crochet. One single crochet, one increase, and one single crochet are finished. One set is done. Continue to work two more sets. Work one single crochet, one increase, and one single crochet as one set.
We can cut off the yarn tails now. Okay, let's continue. Three sets are finished. Finally, work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. Make the round one raise up like this. Round 3 is done. In round 4, start with 1 chain stitch. Then work set of 3 single crochets, 1 increase for 3 times. Finally, end with 1 slip stitch. Let's start. 1 chain stitch first. Then 3 single crochets. Mark the first stitch. Continue to work two more single crochets in the same way. Next, one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, one set is done. Keep working two more sets. We work three single crochets and one increase as one set. Three sets are finished.
Finally, work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop on the hook. Round 4 is done. In round 5, start with one chain stitch. Then work set of 2 single crochets, 1 increase, 2 single crochets for 3 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Change to red yarn. Wrap the red yarn around your fingers like this. Yarn hook, pull through the loop, one chain stitch is down. Pull the yarn tail tight. Break wet yarn. Then work two single crochets. Next, one increase which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Next, two single crochets. Okay, two single crochets, one increase, and two single crochets are finished. One set is done. Keep working two more sets. We work two single crochets, one increase, and two single crochets as one set. Cut off the excess ends. Let's continue.
Okay, three sets are finished. Finally, work one snip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Insert hook into this marked stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the original loop. That's one snip stitch. Round 5 is done. In round 6, start with one chain stitch, and then work 18 single crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. One chain stitch first. Then work one single crochet in each stitch. Finish 18 single crochets in total. Remember to mark the first stitch. Continue to work the remaining single crochets. Eighteen single crochets are finished. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Remove the marker. Work one slip stitch in this marked stitch. Round six is done. In round seven, start with one chain stitch, then work set of. 5 single crochets will increase for 3 times. Finally, end with 1 slip stitch. 1 chain stitch first. Yarn on the hook, put the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's 1 chain stitch. Then, work 5 single crochets. Also, mark the first stitch. Continue to work for more single crochets in the same way. Next, one we'll increase which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay, five single crochets and one increase are finished. One set is done. Keep working two more sets. We work five single crochets and one increase as one set.
Three sets are finished. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 7 is done. In round 8, start with one chain stitch and then work 21 single crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. One chain stitch first. Then work 21 single crochets. Keep working one single crochet in each of the stitches. Finish 21 single crochets in total. Twenty one single crochets are finished. Remove the marker. Finally, work one slip stitch. Okay, round eight is done. Yarn hook and pull through the loop and hook. Then break yarn. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. We'll skip the demo. Please finish this step by yourself. Then turn up the edge of the head like this. Well, the head is completed.